What up guys, hope you enjoyed that little uh, montage of us playing basketball. Starting off the weekend, playing some basketball. Always a great thing. Uh, today we're going to go play some board games with a couple of friends, possibly. Um, tomorrow, going back up to GR, play some frisbee golf maybe. I think we're gonna brew some beer, which may or may not be in this video, we'll see. Uh, should be a fun time. I am I live for the weekends, I love the weekends, and I'm glad it's here. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're making beer. We're trying a new method today. We're probably gonna look like idiots, so if you know what you're actually doing, go make fun of us. Uh, this is called the brew in a bag method. Um, right now we're just waiting for the temperature to get up to temp so we can put in the grains. I'll do a more in depth on what we're actually doing and like the some of the science to it, the little that I know. Um, but this method's a little bit more complex than what I was doing before. I'll come explain that later. So we're waiting for it to get up to about 153 degrees and then we'll get to the next step. the setup we're rolling with. We've got the propane tank with a turkey burner and a 10 gallon-ish kettle. We're trying to keep the temperature right about 152 for about an hour to extract all, extract all the sugars from the grains. And you can't brew without drinking, day drinking. Here's the selection today. I feel like I really haven't done a great job of explaining what I'm doing. So I'll probably do that like post post brew because it's kind of kind of difficult to I don't really know what I'm doing. Normally we do what's called extract brewing, which basically eliminates the step that we're doing right now, which is extracting the sugars and whatnot from the grains uh, and making malt. Uh, so normally like I get it in like a syrup and so I don't have to worry about extracting all the grains because um, right now it basically takes an hour to extract all the sugars and everything from the grains and then we boil it and stuff and that's basically where I would start with doing extract brewing if that makes sense probably doesn't yeah extract brewing is a lot easier and a lot shorter um, it's you don't have as much freedom with it from what I understand that's why we're trying to get into this uh, kind of what the big difference is extract versus this is brew in a bag 
which is a version of what's called all grain brewing, which is like big breweries, what they do. Um, so this is the first attempt. We'll see how it turns out, trying out some new things. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it basically sits like this for about an hour and we try to keep it right at 152 uh, for the whole hour. And it's extracting all the sugars and stuff from the grains that are there. So I had family over while this was happening, so I couldn't talk as much, but this is us putting in the hops. The first one right at the beginning of the boil at 60 minutes. This one goes in 30 minutes into the boil. And right now it's boiling for about an hour. There's a cool little time lapse of that happening. And the key is right after it's done cooking, you want to cool it off as quick as possible. In the summertime, I have a wart chiller, which actually uh, puts cold water through it and cools it off really quickly, but it's kind of hard to set up. So with the snow there, we just use that instead for an ice bath. And this is me emptying out the sanitized bucket uh, with food safe sanitizer. And then we're pouring the cooled wort into the bucket. And then in goes the yeast mixture, uh, which eats away at the sugars, creating the alcohol. And now we're aerating it shaking it up real good and then we'll finish it up by putting the airlock on so gas can get out but not in and it will sit in that bucket for about a month until it's ready to keg and that's it yep, told you. oh hey vlog what's up <laughs> should, I, should i like run into it or should i just do it i run I, but... I step Tree counter. <laughs> that was oh, I do that almost was really good. I don't like doing that. I mean, you could have done one. Nice. There you go. Not bad. How close it was? That was incredible. Oh, we gotta... Ooh. That worked out pretty good, though. Yeah, this super saved up for this. All right. How do you feel about your first round of frisbee golf? You know, it's it's been a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It's pretty it's pretty great. I'm terrible, but it's really fun. Any comments, John? Joe? Ryan's cheating. 
Don't believe any video he shows you. <laughs> I, I give you one tap. That was my bad. Oh, 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 okay. It was pretty bad. Frank, it's rolling it back likes you, buddy. It's rolling back. <laughs> 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 oh, it looks good. Gorgeous. I love the bar. Really? That's going to be pretty darn good. No, I went way too far. Just finished up the day. Finished one under par. John finished a par. Joe and Mike don't want to speak of it. <laughs> it was a fun day. So I'm finishing the weekend off, uh, just grilling for the family. Generally, I'm, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm a pretty dang good griller. I end up usually being the one to grill for the family. Uh, I love having cookouts, all that, with going to people. It was a really great weekend, as always. Uh, I got to see a lot of people, got to play a lot of sports, which I love to do. Um, couldn't really ask for much better of a weekend. I'm excited for the weather to continue to get even warmer and warmer. But other than that, I mean, hard to complain. But we're, we're making it, we're having, we're having fun. Really enjoying all the vlogs. I'm enjoying the editing process afterwards. Uh, we get a lot of support. As always, I appreciate every one of you guys out there. It's been really awesome, because like, I want to do these anyway, but obviously having support from everybody, and like, it's awesome giving me even more motivation to do them. Last night I didn't show, but we ended up going up to Grand Rapids again, going to hang out with a couple guys and grilling out. It was a great time. I love this weather. It's perfect for grilling. It gets me excited for the summer. Uh, I was thinking today, like I'm really excited for the lakes to start uh, thawing so I can do kayaking and whatnot and fishing and all that. So I think those will be really fun to vlog. Other than that, guys, I don't really know what else to say. I appreciate you guys for being here and have a lot of fun. Gonna try to continue doing these and we'll see you next time.